what's going on everybody welcome to how to use a sling sarcometer summer's coming up the cases are sweating we're gonna have to check those uh humidity in the stores so this back react sling sarcometer it's pretty easy to use so on the outside you have the numbers of the wet bulbs or the readings inside is the dry bulb readings which we'll go over that in a little bit once you get readings you kind of just align them like that in and out so when you pull it out, you have two thermometers, a dry bulb one and a wet bulb one with the wick covering it. When you remove the cap, you have the wick. So when it gets dirty, you can just cut it out and slide more down to replace it. Then you have the swivel right here, which allows it to kind of sling around once you're using it. You kind of just slide it in once you get those readings, which we're going to run through right now. On the bottom, it's going to be the relative humidity percentages once you align the wet bulb and the dry bulb. That's going to give you that relative humidity number. So, the first thing you want to do is cover that wick with water. So, let's put some water on it. Put some on top by the cap, remove the cap, put some on the wick. Not overflow, but just dab it a little bit. Put it back on tightly. So make sure it's nice and wet. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. If you watch me, you know how to do that. You want to make sure the dry bulb is wet and the dry thermometer. And you start slinging it. Every time I feel like doing this, like nunchucks. Oh, a fellow chucker, eh? That's me like two to five minutes in the machine room doing that. One thing I forgot to do is when you start slinging it, you want to sling towards the wick like this. So the wick can get the air, not against it. Towards like the back of it, because then the air is going to hit that little plastic part in the back. So towards the wick, you want to start spinning it. And right now I'm just taking the humidity in the machine room. So usually I do it two to five minutes. And I'll do it multiple times just to make sure I get the same readings. Because sometimes they're a little bit off. So I'll do it once I get the two consecutive numbers that are the same. Then I'm good with those numbers. So once I get the reading. Which is pretty dark right there. So I had to move it over here. And the one with the wick. The wet bulb. That one's 70. I'm not sure you can see on the camera. So wet bulb reading 70. The dry one without the wick is 78 so the dry bulb is 78 so now for the part that confuses a lot of people so now I have to align the numbers to get the humidity reading so on the outside is a wet bulb so I want to get 70 aligned with the inside dry bulb of 78 so we got to put those two numbers together So I'm matching 70 with 78 in the inside and that right there is going to be my humidity. So 70 on top, 78 inside aligned and the Y is telling me it's around 68 relative humidity in the machine. There's also a psychrometer app that when you enter the numbers it'll tell you what the humidity is. So this is the one that I use and I usually just hit the numbers 78, 70, and it'll tell you relative humidity. So just to double check with the physical reading on the psychrometer, I do it in the app. Now I'm going to check the sales floor humidity, which in the E2 controller, the BX is saying it's around 62%. When you're looking for the humidity sensors, usually an aisle over by the reaching frozen food. 
So here at this store, it's one eye over. It's always there because we have to use an accurate reading for the anisoids when it pulses on and off. So here you see it. You usually check the reading right next to it. He's a person, let me tell you. So now I gotta get this readings with the wick, the wet bulb. It's 58 and the dry is 63. So I'll have to align those two and get my uh, relative humidity number in the sales floor. And here you go. So I got 58 wet bulb with the 63 and that gives me it's a 73 it's very hard that's why sometimes i just use the app so it, can, it looks like 72. Yeah, it's right there that's why sometimes i just like like using that psychometer light uh, app that you just put in the numbers and it gives you all the readings which in this case i'm off by like 13% up from the controller, so I'm gonna have to adjust that. I hope the video helped you guys out on how to use a sling sarcometer or a better use of it. If you like, subscribe, leave a like, and thank you for watching.